So a report published this month by the American Association for Cancer Research outlined some promising trends in the fight against cancer. More people are surviving cancer than ever before. Now, the overall number of cancer survivors in the U.S. is now up to 18 million compared to just 3 million in 1971. The overall five-year survival rate for all cancers now up to about 70 percent compared to 49 percent in the 1970s. And in 2019, the U.S. cancer death rate dropped by 32 percent from its peak in 1991. That translates to about three and a half million more lives saved. Here to shed more light on these findings is Dr. Marin Xavier, oncologist and hematologist with Scripps MD Anderson Cancer Center, also a Scripps Clinic physician. Welcome. Thank you so much, Virginia. So, Doctor, what exactly is driving this better cancer survival trend? There's kind of a threefold answer to that question. So there's um, the first thing is cancer prevention efforts. What I love so much is that now smoking is down to 14% of Americans and in the 60s it was as high as 40% and we were still recovering from that tobacco related cancers uh, for the past few decades and that's really coming down nicely. Um, other cancer prevention efforts and awareness, sun protection, uh, vaccinations. We have vaccines for human papillomavirus, HPV, which actually prevents three different types of cancer, oral cancer, cervical cancer, and anal cancer. So we have some a lot more arm, uh, fuel to to fight in prevention of cancer. Then there's early detection. So Scripps MD Anderson just launched a huge uh, lung cancer screening program. Uh, we have the uh, most sophisticated mammography screening program. We um, also just in general colorectal cancer screening and uh, prostate cancer screening has really helped to decrease the death rates, particularly in those more common cancers. And finally, my favorite thing is advances in cancer treatments. I'm an oncologist and I treat cancer. And um, I know we can talk more about that, but uh, just having novel targeted therapy and immunotherapy and extremely precise radiation has also really helped with these rates as well. well obviously all these things combined are working well. So how do we make sure this trend continues or even gets better? Yeah, so what we, can we continue to do? So about 40% of cancers are actually due to preventable or lifestyle kind of risk factors. So what we can do is what we mentioned, quit smoking, use sun protection, maintaining a healthy weight um, and a healthy diet is actually really important. Avo avoiding processed food and um, like, uh, cured meats. Uh, the other major thing besides smoking is uh, alcohol in moderation. And of course, the screenings that we already talked about, um, do your mammograms, early detection saves lives. Um, and talk to your pediatrician about vaccinating your adolescents for HPV. As an oncologist, you mentioned treatment and how important that is. Give us your number one most exciting advancement that, that you think is really the future of cancer treatment. Uh, can I have two? Because it's really a double, it's a double thing. We have immunotherapy, which some people would argue is the greatest advance in our strategy towards fighting cancer. Harnessing one's own immune system to attack cancer is really one of the biggest breakthroughs of modern cancer treatment. But there's also targeted therapy, which is some patients' cancers are not immune mediated or don't respond to immune therapy. And we really need to do more with targeted therapy. And at Scripps MD Anderson, and uh, especially we have a program for next generation sequencing where we actually look for mutations that are actionable or druggable that we can actually target rationally as opposed to the chemotherapy of the past. So those are the two big advances uh, with new treatments. Um, we're so, so enthusiastic about. And very quickly, we only have a few seconds left, but we haven't made inroads everywhere. What are some of the types of cancer where we're actually seeing a rise in cases? Yeah, unfortunately, uh, we are seeing rises in several cancers and some we can understand why and some maybe not so much. We are seeing um, for obesity related cancers, a rise in endometrial 
Um, and for some reason, uh, more oral cancers and pancreatic cancers, and some of those are environmental versus genetically based. Um, so on, at Scripps Clinic, we're obviously, um, you know, really trying to work on those t areas that we have more areas to improve upon. But um, really, we made great strides for lung, breast, colorectal, and prostate cancer. And um, working on those lifestyle uh, tips that we already mentioned uh, will probably help with those cancers that are on the rise rather than falling. Well, it's great to hear about these promising trends so that people have hope and see the results of changing their lifestyle and also these new treatments. Dr. Marin Xavier, oncologist and hematologist with Scripps Anderson Cancer Center. Thank you so much. We really appreciate all the information. Thank you so much, Virginia. I love giving this positive message. Absolutely.